So today we're gonna to be showing you guys the AC truss clamp HDL6 and it's an adapter to where you can actually attach to truss and make life a little bit easier. So a lot of people have asked us why the accessory pricing is so high and you can see everything is made in Italy. So this stuff is engineered very well. It's welded, it's machine spec and the stuff is just really incredibly built and the liability if you do everything the way that they recommend is on RCF if anything were to happen to it. So that's what you're paying for when you get it, is you're truly paying for something that's quality. So we'll let Nick show you this. All right, so once you get your uh, AC truss clamp HDL6, you're going to want to pop it open. And, you know, it, it looks exactly the way I think you think it looks like, where it's the cheeseboro adapter on top and then the uh, adapter to attach to the fly bar on the bottom. Um, this has just one pin where the pick point that we showed you in the other videos has two pins. This does, does just have the one pin. And again, it's all based off of your prediction software or what you know your room needs to pick where you pin it in. I'm gonna pin it in from this way, just give that cable a little bit of a, a reach. So let's say 17, arbitrarily. Okay, you've got that pinned in and you have your pick point. And uh, to reiterate uh, what we've said in previous videos, when you have this fly point on, and you are flying speakers, uh, the fly bar is rated for 16 HDL6s. Uh, not when you were pole mounting or N20 stacking or anything like that, but when you are flying with this adapter or the pick point, uh, you can fly up to 16 speakers of uh, the HDL6, I should say. Um, you should have um, no issue with this. Again, if you pick where you'd like it to be. If you're in B position like we are on the fly bar here, you can pick where it will go. And once you add speakers, it'll mellow out the way that you need it to do so, and then go from there. So if you've got any other questions about the HGL6 fly bar, the adapters, the, the adapter that we've shown you here, the adapters that come with the fly bar itself, don't hesitate to reach out to us. And uh, we appreciate you guys watching our videos. Give us a call if you ever have any need for RCF gear, and we'd be happy to help you guys out. So if you guys do want to see how we use these to deploy our HDL6 rigs, you can take a look. We have a video of us using adapters that we had made by uh, the light source for our Sumner Aventor 25s. And uh, these things are just really quick. I mean, we can deploy six cabinets in realistically less than, I would say, probably three minutes, and that's including setting up the lift itself. So the other thing on here, it actually shows you what the weight rating is. 560 kilograms, so multiply times 2.2 .2 and you get the conversion to pounds. You're talking about this little unit can hold well over 1,100 pounds. So 1,100 pounds of that, there's no way that 16 modules of cabinets that weigh a little bit over 25 pounds a piece can ever add up to that. So you're well within a safety factor. But if you guys have any questions, just give us a call.